So we install a different operating system using the uh, Pixie Boot of, on our virtual machines. But what if you have to install a operating system uh, on a real physical machine? So you have to actually uh, go and uh, set up uh, everything in BIOS. In virtual machine, we would just throw in a legacy adapter and make it the boot uh, um, option number one and it will you know look for the pixie server but what do you what option do you need to set in bias let's look at that one uh, so restart your computer and click on the button that's uh, associated with your manufacturer motherboards uh, that you have to press to get into the bias it could be dell f12 f10 anything escape f2 uh, as well so so you need to know that number, uh, the button. So for that, just uh, on this, uh, like AMD gigabits, gigabyte motherboard, uh, if you can see, it's the option right here, the LAN Pixie Boot option. Oh. So when you once you turn it in, once you see it's disabled, uh, you enable it, nothing happens, and you don't see nothing changes in, in the boot order. Even if I click on this one, press enter, it's not giving me any option. So basically, this is, it's already set up for the startup. So when the computer starts, it's gonna look for the Pixie for, uh, first, and then try to uh, boot from this uh, uh, Windows Boot Manager. It will be pretty fast, so, uh, I'm gonna try to show you in the video what happens when you uh, are uh, when when it's enabled how the how the startup uh, reacts. Let's uh, save it. Yes. <clears throat> so look at the top left corner. You'll see that it will give you an option something to press or looking for DHCP. Right there boot agent it was initializing to initializing it did not find any or whatever that uh, I did not press the key so it found the Windows installation and it went over there all right so that's how you enable pixie boot and you can install an operating system on a computer that does not have any and does not have a, a installation medium or device like a DVD or USB on it